This video is about factoring by splitting the middle term. It applies to quadratic trinomials like this one, where the a value is something other than 1. So in this case, our a value is a 3. It's the number in front of the x squared. And when I look at all of these terms here, I don't see a greatest common factor that I can take out from all three. So if you can't take out a greatest common factor, and your a is something other than 1, the splitting the middle term method is going to work every time to get you the correct two factors. First step is to involve the a and the c. Multiply them together. It's positive 3 times positive 10, which gives us a positive 30. And then go through a list in our head of the factors of 30, because we're trying to pick a pair of factors that's going to add up to the middle term, which is 11x. So a pair of factors that multiply to make 30. So our choices are things like 3 and 10, but 3 and 10 does not add up to 11. We could use 2 and 15, but 2 and 15 don't add up to 11. The pair that does is going to be a 5 and a 6. So 5 times 6 multiplies to make 30. 5 plus 6 adds up to that 11 that we're looking for in the middle. So once I pick my two factors, 5 and 6, I'm going to use those as coefficients when I split the middle term. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, or this expression, 3x to the second power. I'm going to split the 11x, which is the middle term, into two terms using the coefficients that I picked, 5x and 6x. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. I could have written that as plus 6x plus 5x. I'm still going to get the same answer in the end. And then I have a plus 10 at the end. So this process of factoring does not involve parentheses yet. All I've done so far is split the middle term into two terms. So now I have an expression with four terms in a row. I'm going to look at just the first two terms together and see what I can take out. If there's a greatest common factor I can take out from the first two terms, and sure enough, there's an x. So I can take out an x, which is going to leave me with 3x plus 5 from the first two terms. Then I'm going to look at the second two terms together. Treat them as a separate problem. Is there something I can take out from those? The most I can take out is a 2. That would be their greatest common factor. And since it's positive, I'm going to show it as plus 2. I have to show that plus sign so it doesn't look like I'm just continuing to multiply here. So take out a 2 from a 6x plus 10, and you're left with a 3x and a plus 5. Now when we look at the problem all together that we have here, the first term contains the binomial 3x plus 5. And the second term also contains the binomial 3x plus 5. That 3x plus 5 can come out from each term and get written once in the front. Open up a set of parentheses to show what's left when you take it out. When I take it out of the first term, all I'm left with is the x. When I take it out of the second term, all I'm left with is the plus 2. And now I have two binomial factors, which if I was to FOIL them or multiply them back together, would give me the quadratic trinomial that I started with. So this is a way of factoring quadratic trinomials when a is not 1. That is all.